the previous messengers of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala prophesized the coming of Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, they didn't just say that one day a messenger will come who will look like such and such and such. But they actually gave a detailed description of the time when Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam will arrive. That's the reason why we know three Jewish tribes settled in Madinatul Munawwara, they knew the time has come that a messenger will come now to the city. Just the same way, our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has prophesied the coming of Qiyamah and before that coming of Isa Alaihi Salam and coming of Imam Mahdi. But along with it, the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam also provided us with the detailed description of the era of Dajjal and Isa Alaihi Salam so that we shall be ready for it. Here we have collected a few descriptions of that time from several Sahih narrations. Number 10. Feeling hot in winter and cold in summer. As unusual it may seem, but according to a hadith of Rasulullah that a time will come when it will be hot in winter and cold in summer. If you still do not understand what this prophecy is referring to, then probably you should check out these news. The year 2016 was the hottest year ever recorded in the history of planet Earth. That's surprising because also some of the hottest places on Earth like desert lands got snowfall in this year. Now did your brain ring on what this hadith of Prophet ﷺ refers to? Global warming? Yeah. A long though hoax of global warming turns out pretty much the truth of this planet as much as being a sign of Qiyamah as well. Number 9. Camel Hump Hijab If you belong to the Middle East, you won't be any more surprised if you ever encountered this Islam quoted fashion statement. The camel hump hijab is a way to make the hijab attractive by certain modifications, thus defeating the whole purpose of hijab that is to keep our sisters and mothers safe from peeking eyes of thy mongers. Rasulullah described this as a time will come that you will see women having humps like camel on the top of their heads. Number 8. Oppression, Violence, Bloodshed and Anarchy Probably the least needed explanation and the most obvious observation of today's time regarding the signs of Qiyamah is this. If you still are unaware of the state of the world, look at this, maybe you will feel enlightened. Number 7. Daughters giving birth to their mothers. This hadith of the Messenger of Allah can in a way be literal, thus the scholars have always taken this to be figurative. According to scholarly consensus, what it means is, daughters will no longer behave like daughters, but rather will control their mother's actions with their commands. Unfortunately, this today describes the condition of both Middle East and Desi Muslims. Number 6. Masajid will be decorated but hearts will be devoid of its guidance. How true is this? How true is this? Look at our Masajid. How many Masajids today have actually became a tourist spot? Subhanallah. And hearts devoid of its guidance. Well, how many of us know the dua of entering and exiting the masjid? Number 5. Days will become shorter. If you are watching this video on YouTube or Facebook or WhatsApp, then chances are high that you too are one of those who feel the hours pass faster than how they should. 
people of every era had 24 hours but it is this century that actually feels the pace of time in real sense number 4 bedouins will compete in building tall buildings this prophecy really blows away my mind two places that once hosted bedouins today turns out to be the crucial spots both as per tourism and economics but the prophecy of islam came true on the account of building of burj khalifa in dubai the current tallest structure of earth being the record 830 meter tall and then it being challenged by the under construction kingdom tower at least 270 meter taller than burj khalifa being a marvelous 1 km tall in structure possibly in 2017 we will see this building overtake burj khalifa number 3 women will be clothed yet naked this hadith long thought to be referring to the public clothing of women under clothes so tight that their modesty is no more affected by anything wore or not but as latest as just a couple of years ago another aspect of this prophecy has come into existence where hundreds of people in the west have endorsed to strip naked body painting where they paint their bodies creating a fake appearance of as if they are clothed in truth they are not number 2 presence of musical instruments in every house Despite of the clear sahih hadith of Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam that says a time will come that the people of my ummah will permit zina wearing of silk for men alcohol and music The ummah didn't stop itself from immersing deep inside this fitna that is present almost inside every home your eyes might wander or rather this very same mobile phone or laptop you're watching this video number 1 feeling shame in following the quranic injunctions do you have a long beard do you wear a hijab are you a terrorist oops sorry but extremist at least do you wear your pants above your ankles that's definitely extremism Oh you don't listen to music that's a perfect symptom of extremism it is the most unfortunate condition of this ummah that our own brothers and sisters pass so many comments on anyone who tries to walk on the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and tries to become a better muslim and tries to change himself for the ultimate good how can we expect others to be kind to our brothers in syria and palestine when we ourselves are not kind to our brothers in our own homeland ab kab khologe tum aankhein aakhir kab badloge tum apni raahein hai waqt guzar raha haathon se phisalte reet ki tarah ho na jaye aisa ki jab aankhein kholo to samne dekho qiyamat khada Allah 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 Allah